The paintwork of this car, frankly, is weak, stretches appear even from minor contacts with bushes and brushes at car washes. Despite this, corrosion on the car body is quite rare. When inspecting a car, be sure to pay attention to the condition of the bumpers, since according to statistics, on every second copy, the standard fasteners of the front bumper are broken off. Complaints about the reliability of Ford engines are rare, and the third-generation Focus is no exception. The engines of this car are quite reliable, and if any problems arise with them, then, as a rule, they are insignificant. One of the features of gasoline power units is their noisy operation, especially a cold season. For example, when starting a cold 1.6 engine, you can hear a clatter or tapping from under the hood, a feature of the injectors. After warming up, as a rule, annoying sounds disappear. Motor 2.0 also has an unpleasant feature, a loud knock when starting a cold engine, a feature of the high-pressure fuel pump. On cars manufactured from 2011 to 2012, unstable operation of the triple engine and loss of direction was observed, the reason was a firmware failure of the power unit control unit. Later, the manufacturers fixed this problem by replacing the software. The engine control unit is located not far from the front bumper, and even if there is not even a significant blow to the front of the car, it needs to be replaced. The cost of the unit is about 1500 USD. If you constantly drive at high speeds, then oil consumption increases, up to 300 grams per 1000 km. The weak point of diesel engines is it is sensitive fuel system. If the car was refueled with low-quality fuel, costly repairs cannot be avoided. The Ford Focus 3 was equipped with 5-speed manual transmission and a power shift robotic transmission with two dry clutches. Unfortunately, automatic transmission has both technical and operational disadvantages. So, in particular, owners often blame jerks, jolt, and a metallic grinding when shifting gears, as well as twitching the car when driving in a traffic jam. If the car was used most of the time in a metropolis, then an expensive repair of the transmission will be needed after 50 60,000 km. Clutch replacement is required. As for the mechanics, it is quite reliable, but it still has minor drawbacks leakage of axle shaft seals and souring shift cables. To extend the life of the shift cables, they need to be lubricated every 50,000 km. The clutch lives here for a long time, 120-150 thousand kilometers. McPherson is traditionally used as the front suspension on the Ford Focus 3 and a multi-link independent suspension at the rear. The braking system is represented by disc brakes, the steering is equipped with electro-hydraulic booster. The owners of this car model often complain about the creak of the suspension in cold weather, dealers do not consider this a drawback and call this drawback a car feature. If we talk about the reliability of the suspension, then it is quite tenacious, and coastal operation on average will last 70-90 thousand kilometers. For most modern cars, the stabilizer struts leave no more than 50 thousand kilometers. Shock absorbers, after 70 thousand kilometers, as a rule, begin to leak, and closer to 100 thousand kilometers, they will need to be replaced. At the same time, thrust bearings will also have to be replaced. Ball bearings, wheel bearings, and silent blocks on average run about 80 thousand kilometers. The breakup arms of the rear suspension fail at a range of 60-70 thousand kilometers. The steering rack is considered the most problematic place in the chassis and can knock very early, up to 60 thousand kilometers. Due to the fact that this unit is not collapsible and changes as an assembly with an amplifier, its replacement is not cheap. The Ford Focus 3 Salon has an original design, but as for this model, it brings down the quality of finishing materials and build quality. As a result, crickets in the cabin appear in the first year of the car's life. Despite the large number of electrical equipment in the cabin, complaints about their work are extremely rare. If you are the owner of this car model, please describe the problems that you had to face during the operation of the car. Perhaps it is your review that will help readers of our site when choosing a car.